Good afternoon, everybody. This is Joe Gentile, owner of Plant Health Organics in Frenchtown, New Jersey. And it happens to be Easter Sunday, and I just wanted to show you some of the flowers of spring looking beautiful on this Easter. We have the daffodils. Those daffodils, believe it or not, are about 20 years old, if not older. And then we have some wonderful smelling hyacinths. And they are doing really well this year. I've never actually seen them do that well in my garden, but such is luck, I guess. As we're walking along, the perennials are starting to come up a little bit more. We have some more beautiful daffodils. And then as we pan over, excuse the quickness, we start to approach the subject really of today's video for daffodils and we have the PJM rhododendron PJM standing for Paul J. Muzzin and the PJM rhododendron just really started to open up today in today's beautiful weather and it is a small leaf rhododendron as opposed to the normal large leaf that most people are used to. And there are two main varieties of small leaf rhododendrons. The PJM, as you see here, with sort of a light purple or a lilac flower. And then there's another one called Olga, which uh, I have not been able to find lately, but has sort of a light pink color to its flower. It's really a beautiful plant. There's also a third called Ramapo, uh, which is an even smaller leaf. Uh, I'm not really big on those. Never really had much luck. But just like all rhododendrons, they need some water. Um, you'll see me watering these at the root zone in summertime when we experience some drought situations. Um, and you'll see the leaves droop, of course, and not looking too good. So you know it's time to water. And in wintertime, this plant is even more beautiful in my opinion because the leaves turn purple from the green that you see there and if it's really cold they will fold or sort of pretty much protecting themselves from the cold weather but as you can see it has a beautiful purple flower and very reminiscent some people might think it's an azalea well the azaleas are in the rhododendron family so they're all related but it's a beautiful plant and a PJM requires a little bit more sun than a regular rhododendron. Uh, regular rhododendrons pretty much like uh, shade for the most part, but PJMs like a little bit more sun and it can handle a little bit more sun. Also susceptible to lace bug if they are in too much sun and as the name uh, suggests, Lace bugs look like lace and they stipple the leaves or turn the leaves white. Anyhow, I think the PJM is a great addition to anybody's uh, garden and I highly recommend it. I recommend it over regular rhododendrons to be honest with you. Anyhow, as we take one last look at the beautiful daffodils on this Easter Sunday, I say to you, we will see you next time. This is Joe Gentile from Plant Health Organics in Frenchtown, New Jersey. Happy spring, everybody.